Well, I was about to do my intro, but we have a size storm coming, so uh give me one second while these uh these alarms get over with. Bro, imagine eating a can of tomatoes. I don't think I could do it. Today, we're doing a lab. We have to. It's been been a while, we need to get on it. And uh it's gonna be great. I can't wait. Um, obviously. No sarcasm there. <laughs> I'm thinking we might just do Lab X18, or yeah, it's either that, the Brain Scorcher, or Lab X8, which is over in the outskirts. And I don't honestly, I don't remember this lab too well, but I think it's a little sketch. We do have the Conflict of Interest mission again to kill some monolith in the outskirts, as well as this soul artifact we need to turn in to one of the guys out there. Uh, that'd be a couple missions. We could get a gold sash after completing those, and I'll probably do that first. Yeah, because we still need expert tools and uh but don't worry there have been a couple of new developments um from the community that we have now and uh i've got a couple of new exciting things uh one being the vector is in my uh my, my pistol slot i can't use it one-handed but it is in this pistol slot which is good i've always wanted it here it's just a little mod that uh fellow by the name of hammer sent me this and it's very useful it lets you put a lot of the smgs in this slot uh, the ump 45 the vector the mp5 fraser uh the pp 2000 so yeah all those guns you previously for whatever reason gamma just did not want you putting them here now you can so this is frees up two primary slots so uh that's good we can a lot of more versatility here we can do something cool with our loadout um, other than that <laughs> the expert tools <laughs> Um, yes, you can find them in gold stashes. That's what we've been trying to do. But another mod that was given to me by Swordy, which thank you for sending me this. Me and a lot of you guys were wondering, yeah, why can't you just craft expert? Well, with this mod, now we can. Here's the recipe. It's fairly fair, I would say. This is a lot of stuff. These aren't particularly easy to acquire, especially the heavy arm kits and heavy armor repair kits and the uh, repair part repair kits. These are extremely expensive. So it's going to cost me some money and some and some resources and some materials, but we will be able to craft expert tools. Uh, so this is the goal for today. Like, absolutely, we have to get these. Um, once we get those, we can use uh, any one of these weapons that we so desire. All the ones with a little D next to them. Those are the ones that have been locked from my ability to use for this entire playthrough, and I have quite a bit. So yeah, a lot of cool stuff in here that we have been uh, cock blocked from and, and I'm ready to get in there. So, God, that was, uh, that may have been a little too much. All right, so let's go and uh, first things first, we need to head into outskirts. We are gonna go ahead and finish the, what we started out here. If we get a gold stash from those, great. We'll go find it, who knows? This may all be redundant and we can just get extra tools the normal way. But uh, if not, we know what to do. So yeah, we're gonna get in there. I might change up my loadout a bit and I'll see y'all there. I think that we're getting attacked. Oh, Jesus Christ. What is with these duty members? Just coming out of nowhere. <laughs> the heck happened here? That's a that's a monolith? This is one of our UNISG guys just got killed? What the heck? Okay, they're all dead. Dude. I can't search that guy. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Oh my god <laughs> okay he just got an ots with a barrel a good barrel um wow that's crazy um holy shit. okay that's a really good find can i loot these guys i can't loot him i should be able to loot you yep oh my god that's so cool okay he's got an effing scar with a big ass scope on it what is that hold up shit dude <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh man this is our new gun whenever we can get it working of course it is a d-class weapon so we're not going to be able to repair it anytime until until we get our expert tools which is the plan for today all right we're in the outskirts <laughs> oh my <laughs> radiation uh, just smoke it off all right so we're at the uh the grocery store and I got a new loadout, boys, and I'm excited to show it to you. So we, we killed the duty members at the base. They kind of just came out of nowhere and attacked. We got the OTS view with a decent barrel, I'd say. Here it is. It looks beautiful. It has such a cool animation. I went in and threw a uh, PSO scope on it. Um, it's not even loaded, but that's all right. 
The problem is the barrel's at 60. Oh, and yes, we have some decent semi-armor piercing rounds for it. So, yeah, there we go. That thing is going to absolutely destroy a lot of people. I can't wait to use it. Um, yeah, the problem being it's at... The barrel's at 61%, so by the time we're done with this, we're going to need a new barrel for it, but that is okay. I think it's worth using. Uh, next up, we got our AK-5C. Went ahead and threw my super futuristic megascope on it, because why not? Uh, we have some some FMJ for that. So uh, this is a cool gun. I've always liked using it. And then last but not least, we have the MP7. This thing is so damn cool. Um, I just had to get some get some use out of it before that's such a cool animation had to get some use out of it before we uh moved on to better guns but yeah this thing is going to be real good against just about everything i'm going to be using it for mutants which isn't honestly ideal but who cares um that's just what i'm going to do <laughs> so let's head over here turn in this artifact that we got first and then we'll go kill some monolith and then uh, you know if we don't if maybe we'll get a stash location from that if not I think I might just go and buy what I need and uh, get a bunch of materials and then craft myself some expert tools. Before we continue, I need to hit you up with the sponsor of today's video, which is me. I started a Patreon. I figured it was about time that I did this. Some of you guys have even requested that I make one of these, which you're crazy, but okay, I did it. Uh, if you go to my channel, you click this one more link, you see there is a Patreon link here. That'll bring you to the actual Patreon page. We've set up some pretty cool memberships there's a lot of uh rewards and things it's very cool obviously uh you can join for a dollar and i would just really appreciate it if you want to give more there are more things that you would be benefited with um, but it's there for you to look at i'll be linking it in my videos and you can find it on the channel you can find a link to it on the discord so yeah if any of you guys want to support me there it would help out a lot and you can kind of read the about tab and see a little bit more details of like what this is all about and help me to do this YouTube thing full time, which would mean, you know, a lot of more videos, uh, better quality videos, more streams, more everything. And uh, I'd be free from the corporate life, which <laughs> is uh, that's also a goal. So <laughs> so feel free to check out the Patreon and, uh, you know, take a look at it. If you if you feel like something in there interests you, we got a lot of benefits set up for each of the tiers. You get some custom roles and access in the discord. Uh, you get a little, the, basically the more, the higher tier you are, the more direct influence you have on the channel and the more contact you have with me, if that is something you're interested in. There's also some other rewards in line there and i'm always happy to reach out and talk to you guys and don't feel like if you don't donate you're gonna be like shunned or disregarded you, you're all still very important regardless um, this is just a way to be more involved with the community and me and uh your input would be a little bit more heard amongst the crowd um and if that interests you yeah th there's an option and i will assure you like the money that i receive from youtube and from patreon if in when if you do choose to you know support me um it will be going like back into the community like a lot of this stuff is so that i can do giveaways it's so that i can do well, more good. you know bigger better more fantastic videos and what else and uh a stream possibly christmas stream i don't know it won't be on christmas day because that's monday but I think the 23rd, the day before Christmas Eve, the Saturday coming up, um, maybe do a stream. I'm not confirming it 100%. You'll know when I do because I'll post it in the Discord. But uh, yeah, we may do a little stream event. We are now trying to reach the goal of 25,000 subscribers. That is going to be the next goal. I'm announcing it here. That'll be the next goal. So obviously share the videos, like the videos, watch the videos. And that's how you can help to get me there and uh, we can grow this community even more and it's gonna be awesome. The next stream I do will be kind of a road to 25,000 subscriber stream and we will be doing a giveaway. If you're into Stalker, you're gonna want the reward. Um, I guess I'll just go ahead and tell you. We're gonna be giving away a, a pre-order of Stalker to Heart of Chernobyl, the ultimate edition. I'm gonna be giving it to one of you guys. Uh, details on how you sign up for that will be released whenever the stream date is released so don't worry about it right now uh just stay tuned watch the videos uh, if you're in the discord you won't miss it and uh okay i think that's enough self promotion i think we can continue with the game now um a lot of big cool things and i'm really excited to share it with you guys and just a genuine thank you for all of the support over the last like i'd say two solid years i've been building this channel and it uh it's going well and i'm really happy with the community that we have right now you guys are all so very cool yeah i can't wait to 
to see where it goes. So, okay, enough, enough. Job's done. We we get, we handed in the artifact. Cool. That didn't get rid of my. I still have the. Wait, did I just dupe it? Did I just dupe this thing? I think I just duped the artifact. All right, whatever. We'll ignore that. Oh my god, we got a gold stash. Okay. Well, that's on the way, so we're just gonna go right to that. Holy shit. We might not have to spend a lot of time crafting these tools. We could get them. There's a chance. That's crazy. Oh my god. That thing won't die. Okay, not the best gun for mutants, I see that, but we got it done. I really need to get some more ammo parts so I can craft Hydra Shock, dude. Ugh. Oh, it's really bad. Oh, I shouldn't be using that. Oh, man. All of you guys that are actually good at this game are probably screaming at me right now. Yeah, the MP7's not good for mutants. My bad. <laughs> I just wanted to use it, man. It looks cool. Um, but... Oh, Jesus Christ! I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. De well, that was an unfortunate end. I thought we were going to have a good day in the outskirts. And I just... Dude, if I don't get this... <gasps> Bro, wait a minute. I don't have the... Oh, the stash is going to be gone, man. No. The stash is gone. Bro. Okay, things just got real. I might have just, like, really screwed myself. I hope whenever I turn in this task again for this artifact that it gives me the stash location back, but I feel like it might not. Okay, you... Job's done. Thanks. Peace. Um, we didn't get a stash location. Oh, no. Why? <laughs> I mean, at least I know the next stash location I get is gonna be a gold stash. But, yeah, we just simply got robbed. Oh, no. Okay. We got a fracture. We got another fracture. A cat. Whoa. A snork. Two snorks. There's mutants up. This place was not that dangerous last time. And there was, I think, was it one or two chimeras down the road? And, uh, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I really don't have guns to kill mutants. I kind of, I kind of made a big oopsie. I'm going to try to avoid that. And I'm just going to, I mean, if we run into the chimera, we're just going to have to unload on it and hope for the best. Yeah, he's right there. Hold on, I have an idea. Let's piss it off. Don't worry, I'm, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's piss it off. Let's bring him back to the merc base. <laughs> oh, I done poked it with a stick. Where is it at? Well, I guess let's uh, walk up the road here and see. Maybe it ran off? Maybe it just didn't like that I shot it and it's gone? That's wishful thinking. A bit nervous. There's so many mutants out here today. <laughs> Head on a swivel. It just got real quiet. I don't like this. There it is. Oh man. I don't know what to do. I really don't have a gun that can kill it. Hold on. I have 12 shots of HP. This will do the most damage to it. That was, that was bad. That was bad. That was all my ammo. Okay. He didn't like that. Okay, we got it. Okay, okay, okay. We're fine, we're fine. <sighs> the MP7's not terrible. Alright, it, it did do the job. Get it owned. Nice, we got two Chimera meats off of that. That's some great food. Alright, disaster avoided. Only took us a second try there. <laughs> So let's get over here, let's kill some monolith, and uh, we should get a stash location for this. I don't know. We would have had a stash. We almost had it, dude. That sucks. And I wanted to mention, uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, uh, if you need any, if you have any questions or concerns with the Patreon or with the Discord server, you can always hit me up on the Discord server or uh, the community manager who is Sternal Jet. Uh, feel free to hit him up. That dude is an absolute saint. He's been helping me out a ton with the creation of the Patreon and the revamp of the Discord server. He's really good at all this stuff and he's just helping me out because he's a good person. So show him some love if, you, uh, if you're ever talking to him. He's super helpful and yeah, just a big shout out to him. Whoa, okay, we got a whole squad of monoliths just patrolling right here. 
We are not in cover. We're going to need to take these guys out. Uh, I'm going to wait till they're on the other side of this bus. Hopefully they'll be in a little bit more open. Don't want them to be able to hide very easily. Oh my goodness, dude. Look at them all. All right, let's just start dropping them, I guess. Am I missing? Oh no. Oh no. Why are they pushing so far? Oh my god, give me my gun. Holy shit. These guys are so aggressive. Oh my goodness. That was crazy. Those guys did not give a fuck. <laughs> they were just coming for me. Okay. I think that was all of them. Um, and I do have some AP ammo for the for the uh, MP7, so we might we might actually throw that in. Uh, nice. Okay, let's just loot all of that. Okay. I'm just gonna auto loot all this stuff. I don't expect these guys to have anything too crazy. Hopefully, they didn't alert the whole compound here. I don't think so. I don't think they were part of that group. That was just a random patrol. Now we need to clear out any and all monolith that are in this compound here. There's one way over there. I don't even know if I can hit this shot. This is like a sniper, but it's not as accurate as you might hope. It, it, it only... Well, no, it has 93% accuracy. Let's just try it. Okay. Who am I kidding? This thing is awesome. It didn't seem that powerful earlier. Maybe I was just missing. Man, this... uh. Ambient music is making me feel some type of way. So awesome. There's one. Let me just make sure there's not one in this room, because that happens. Yep. Okay, those guys are, those guys are way too far. Hold on. Oh. Uh. Oh, oh, you're close. I swear this thing is not... Okay, that was beautiful. That was awesome. This gun's a little bit hit or miss. Sometimes it just isn't on. I don't know. It's all quiet now. The objective is not complete, though. So that makes me think there's more. Oh, you see that guy? Homie, you are not paying attention. <sighs> okay. Oh my god. Die? Okay, he's dead. Holy shit. <laughs> These guys are tough. Conflict of interest. Mission updated. I think we're good, and we got a gold stash. Okay, we must have gotten that from the bodies. We were destined to get one, that's good. Um, do I use ibuprofen? I have nine of these right now, so yeah, well, might as well. That's freaking nuts. These are so valuable, though. Let's go check all these bodies, and uh, and then we'll head back. We'll go grab that stash and see what we get. Hopefully it's expert tools, and then we can go hit a lab up. Oh, nice, we got a PDA. We, we will take a look at this. Nothing there. Yeah, we're kind of loaded. Wow. That didn't take too long. Thank you, Monolith. Alright, that's done. Uh, we need to go and get this stash. It's on the other side of town. Um, but yeah, it shouldn't be too hard to get. Uh, we got a dog. He was a little bit confused. That's okay, we, we, got, we got it taken care of. Oh man, I, I hope we get these expert tools from the stash. That would just save me so much time. I'm just, I'm, I'm so ready to have some really like top tier guns okay we're coming up on the stash oh man i hope it's something good it is in this little hole okay no fucking way <laughs> no fucking way dude okay we just got ourselves expert tools completely legitimately that is what's up. I literally went through all this trouble of installing a mod to let myself craft them and we just get them. 
what a fucking relief, man. Oh my god, we have been working so hard to get these. Uh, now we can craft any and everything that we want. Oh, we can make good night vision, a better PD. Oh my gosh, boys, this is huge. I don't know how much of this video is going to be me crafting shit, but that's what we got to go do. I'm going to go back to base, and then we're going to figure out what our next loadout's going to be, because we just unlocked the rest of the gear in the game. Uh, we still don't have heavy armor, or I guess what I have, this is heavy armor. This armor is good, but I need I need something better. Jeez, I can't believe we just found it. I had a feeling after I went through all the trouble of getting the mod installed that like I would just find them. But you know, I'm not complaining. This is great. So yeah, let's go back to base and uh, let's fucking dig in, bro. We got a lot of stuff we can craft. Um, oh man, this is gonna be nuts, boys. I don't even know where to start. We we so oh, there's so much we can do. Okay, uh, first things first. Let's drop off all of these. Attachments, we got so many. Got an IED. I have 16 grenades on me, dude. I have so many grenades. Look at all these grenades. I mean, that's gonna be really helpful in the labs. Oh my gosh, we can make this helmet. The Exo Helm. Wait, I think. We'll try. This thing's gonna be crazy if we can get that working. Oh man, where to begin? Where to even begin? Um, let's turn the light on. Um, it's getting a little bit into the evening here. We need to, first thing we're gonna do is go to devices. We're gonna make this. Night vision, 100%. No question about it. Um, we can also, oh, we don't have enough capacitors. We should be able to get some. And then we can make a version three PDA. So we want to do that as well. I might have some things I can break down in here. Yeah, I can break down those. Let's equip this. Yeah, dude, look at it, it's so cool. It's not even dark out, but this is just amazing. That's so much better than the night vision we had. Uh, let's disassemble all of this. The, where's that radio? There it is. Capacitors. Hopefully that was enough. We need one more. I could try and like shoot some birds. I don't know if they drop capa- Oh, I know what I could do. I have five echo detectors and an extra headlamp. Let's just break down two of these. There we go. Now we have enough. All right, craft PDA V3. Nice. So yeah, this video is going to be a little bit of like in-game gear crafting as well as maybe a lab. I hope we have time for the lab. I don't know. I've already an hour and a half in, believe it or not. Um, this video took a lot of prep work. Okay, so for this helmet, I need an exo repair box thing. Um, I need this. I don't have one of these and I don't think you can't buy a magazine to learn the recipe for that thing either. I'm just going to double check, but none of these give you the recipe. That is something that I'm going to have to get extremely lucky and find on a body. So this helmet is out of the question for now. So armor wise, we're stuck where we are, but gun wise, we can do a lot. So right now we have the, the choice to pick from any of these guns right here. So we have 30 rounds of AP and 97 76251 ball rounds, which is the FMJ. So that's pretty good. What about and then 762 by 39? We have a little bit less. So let's not make the AK Alpha. Let's make the SCAR. So we'll use the SCAR with the blue pulled RMR that came on it. Um, go ahead and just slap that on there. I guess let's just make ourselves an advanced toolkit before we get too crazy into this. Uh, we need one Brunox gun care spray. I'm actually really surprised I don't have one of those. Let's see, do you have one? He does. Fantastic. Only cost me 2,700. I do have 90. I still have like 100k, which is awesome. Probably just from looting all those monolith bodies. Okay, let's get the Type D weapon repair kit, aka the advanced weapon repair kit. That's done. That is in our possession. We own it. Uh, let's put our, our five advanced tools. We'll put those away. We have the Raptor shotgun. This thing might be a go-to as well. All right, let's repair up these guns. We actually had quite a bit of parts for these already saved up, which is fantastic. We just need a barrel for the SCAR, and we only need a barrel for the Raptor as well. Everything else is good to go. I guess, yeah, I guess we'll burn the repair kit for the barrels, because I don't know how else I'm going to get barrels. I could buy them. Let's just go ahead and do it this way. Replace barrel and replace barrel. There we go. They're good to go, both at 30%. We'll use some uh, kerosene with this Type D cleaning kit. Okay, we got them both at roughly 90% now. All right, I just spent the whole evening crafting uh, and repairing guns. Uh, I'm gonna get some sleep. I'll show y'all. I'll show y'all what I came up with in the morning. <sighs> Looks like I woke up real early, uh, but that's okay. I guess a uh, good excuse to use our new night vision. So. It's a little dark, but I got the scar working and uh, I have a little bit of ammo for it. 
This thing's going to be pretty damn nice. It has a good scope on it. It has a canted sight. Uh, we have the Raptor shotgun. This thing is actually crazy. It has giant drum magazines. You guys will be able to see these better in the, uh, in the day. We have a laser on it. And I still have the MP7 because I feel like we just barely got to use it. But I got some nice armor piercing rounds for it. So uh, we'll be able to use this on stalkers as it's, I feel like, a little bit more intended. We'll use the shotgun for mutants and the the, uh, the scar is going to be basically a, a DMR at this point. Um, so that's our loadout. It's looking pretty good. And there's a lot more guns to choose from if and when we need to, to switch up ammo types and all that. But uh, yeah, that's a good start, I'd say. Uh, so now what I need to do is... Oh, this guy wants an OTSO3 SVU. Hold on. Can I turn in an SVU? Because I have two of these. One of them's broken. <laughs> no shot. Let's take the scope off of it. No way. Except, bro, we're about to turn in an SVU. This is a, like, top tier gun. What do you think he's going to give me for it? Like, probably a lot, right? Oh, and I also need to turn in this mission from the, the monolith we killed. That gave me 10k. What are the chances this dude just wants an SVU? What's nice about these tasks is you can turn in broken guns. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Job's done. Here you go. He gave me 500 fi What? 500 rubles? I, that's a scam. Is it because the gun I gave him was in bad condition? That is nothing. I got I got like 12 grand for the M4 I turned in. That's crazy. Okay. Luckily, we had an extra. We didn't need that. Oh, that's right. We need water. Okay, yeah. So before we can really set off and do any uh, long-term journeys, we need to go back to Dead City again and just get resupplied on everything. So let's go do that. Good old dead city. We haven't been here in a little while. Um, let's talk to you first, Mr. Dushman. Uh, let's get some ammo. He does sell 762 by 51. It's very expensive, but it's a hell of a lot easier to buy than to craft. So let's buy 60 rounds of that. We could just buy a little more buckshot because even though we have 107, you'd be amazed when you have 20 round mags, you could shoot it as fast as you can shoot this thing. It really isn't that much, especially if I'm scared and and spamming the trigger because I might be doing that. He also has some 5.7 ammo which we can buy. So let's spend 40, 80, 8,500 on that. There we go, we're down to 73,000. Uh, I just remember there were some more things I should have crafted too, but that's all right. That's why we, that's why we're prepping right now. We have time, we can go and we can get what we need. So let's, okay, the technician next. Do we need anything from you? Uh, we have three of these steel wools. Let's just buy all of those. Let's go in here, get some water from Aslan. There we go. Uh, let's actually do this bounty task to take out a military in Dark Valley because that is where we're going to go for the next lab. Okay, cool. And that mission, as I suspected, is right next to the lab. Take out some military, which we would have to do either way, so might as well get paid for it. Okay, we got to go back to base. Uh, at least it's, the, the, the good news is it'll be a bit brighter when we do. Wow, that moon looks crazy. Okay, here we are back at base. Uh, this thing right here is what I need. Oh, you're joking. I need one more of these carbon nanotube layers like oh no it needs two more damn it uh how do i how do i get that how am i gonna get that can i can i get it from any of these hey this one has n29 okay so we can break down that helmet uh this one also has n29 wow we may we may have just gotten really fucking lucky we're gonna have to destroy both of these helmets but i think it's for the greater good so let's do that Take all that stuff. That's so freaking lucky that we just got those. There we go. We have exactly enough. Improved carbon steel plates craft. Fantastic, bro. So now we have 12% ballistic resistance and 20% explosive resistance. Uh, we're gonna attach that to belt our armor, dude. Look at our ballistic resistance. It's almost maxed out without it. You see how much it drops? With it, it freaking, dude. Wow, I think that's gonna help a ton. Especially with grenades. I get so many grenades thrown at me. Okay. Weapons are good. We have ammo. I cannot wait to use these. Oh my god. This gun is so beefy, bro. For uh, for doing this lab, we're gonna start off in garbage because I kind of want to make some of that money that I just spent back. So we're gonna sell our mutant parts in garbage. And then we'll head into Dark Valley from there. Okay. Here we are. The train hangar. And... I don't think there's any enemies nearby, which is freaking awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and just sell. That's what we're here for. Only 13,000. Could have been better, but oh well. Oh my god, I cannot wait to use these guns, dude. Oh, we got ourselves a little kitty, huh? Definitely use the shotgun on this. 
Oh man, it's gonna just get owned. Oh my god. Yes, dude. So we're gonna head into Dark Valley from here, and uh, we've got some military to take out in a lab to explore and get some documents out of for the UNISG. It's so good to actually be back on the UNISG quest. We have been detouring quite a while. I don't want to take out these boar just to use the shotgun some more. Wow. Oof, okay, that one got a little close. I would use it without a suppressor, but it's honestly such a loud weapon. I don't want to be destroying your your guys' ears. I, I do think some of you use headphones. Actually, I'll just show you. Okay, I'll shoot once without the suppressor. <laughs> yeah. I'm shooting that 20 times. Yeah, you, you're going to need some hearing aids. So we're going to keep that quiet. Garbage with the snow mod looks pretty damn cool. I will say. Oh, we got some more flesh. Are they really going to attack me? That's what I thought. Get out of here. Dude, it, it's just overpowered. That's all there is to it. What was that? I don't like it. What What the heck? Oh, that's a controller. We're, how many days in are we? Hold on. We are 27 days in on this playthrough. Here's my stats, by the way, if you're interested. You can pause the screen and look at these. 27 days in, almost a month in the zone. And that is why there are so many dangerous mutants everywhere. Who are you? Oh, there's a mercenary. Well, I'm not going to mess around with that controller. We're just going to mind our business. Let's get, uh, let's get this stash. This is a stash? What the hell? Okay. Let's loot it. Oh, nice. A uh, little suit upgrade kit. All right, let's move on. I don't know who this mercenary is shooting at. Maybe we can help him out. Oh, are they shooting at these? Okay. Oh my gosh, it's so good. <laughs> I haven't even used the scar yet, bro. You guys are in for it. You know what? I think I think it's time we have some cheese, actually. I think we've earned it. I've already done it quite a bit today, but it's mostly been upgrading. <laughs> Little zombie there. You're gonna get sucked up into that anomaly, friend. You sure you want to do that? Okay. Well, we all make choices. <laughs> oh god, I almost did the same thing. All right. Okay. Okay. You guys know me. I'm an FN fanboy. So having this gun in my hands right now is making me feel pretty damn awesome. Let's go ahead and get in here. What's that? Does that dog seriously see me? Golly. Alright. You see why I brought so many buckshot rounds? <laughs> it's so easy to shoot this thing a lot. Mutants are everywhere. Yeah, man, I'm telling you. I think the spawns are just... There's cats, flesh, zombies, dogs, everywhere. I think the spawns have just been really ramped up because of how far in we are. We're gonna have to deal with this cat. No problem. We shouldn't have too hard of a time dealing with... Uh, monolith and stalkers either too just says of the the new ballistic resistance we have is pretty damn good it does say protection is only applied to arms legs and torso but i mean that is where i'm typically getting shot okay, it looks like there's just mercenaries over there i was just clearing it making sure there's no ecologist we've really done a lot of damage to the ecologist faction in this playthrough it feels kind of bad man although they are kind of responsible for a lot of the messed up things in the zone this wasn't all done by organic reasons. It was all uh, testing and lab experiments that went a bit too far. Trying to control people with the zone emissions. It's not a not a great way to handle social problems, but you know, they, I think they learned their lesson. Oh, there is a cat that got stuck. Poor guy. We you take care of that. Oh man, no way those guys already see me. Okay, hold up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay. First shot with the scar. Oh, it's so good. I hear a lot more, yep. Oh man. Oh my god, that dude had a big helmet too. Dude, we, we've one-tapped all four of those guys. 
Oh, there's two more. Ow, damn. Good shot, dude. Oh, oh we're missing. No. I wanted to one-tap all of them. <laughs> well, there was our bounty. There we go. Oh, that guy was a bit too fast. Let's get the MP7 out. Oh, yikes. Alright. Yeah, there's uh, the power of 308, man. I think it was worth waiting to have expert tools. Whoa. What the hell? I think somebody's shooting at me. Or maybe that was a stray bullet? There shouldn't even be anyone over there except for... I think it was a mercenary. I think a stray bullet from that merc bounced over here. Careful, man. <laughs> Love how that can happen. Like, what game has stray bullets like that? Like, that, you, that is just not a thing. It's so crazy. Um, I think we may have killed all of them. Okay, nobody's immediately in there. Okay, let's loot up these bodies. Alright. Nice. Sweet. Tons of loot. Oh, and we have the white stash over here. Let's go ahead and grab this. Let's check it out. Um, okay, meds. Upgrade kit. There's this guy. Oh, nice. He had an SKS Tactical. Very good. Oh, we just got another Morphine Ampule as well. Probably going to use one of those in this lab. So we are actually at the location. We just need to go all the way downstairs. Let's go into this lab. I don't know if I'm ready for this, to be honest. I would like to think I am. Um, I mean, judging off of what has transpired on the way over here, I think our guns are definitely up to par. Um, just hopefully my armor holds out and uh, we don't run into too many issues with the... The mutants and whatever else is down here, I don't even honestly know. I've been assigned to investigate Lab X18 and search for hard evidence of a conspiracy. Exciting. Alright, let's get in there. See what we can find. Oh, goodness gracious, what the hell. Cool, okay. I'm hearing a lot. Right off the bat. Oh, man, okay, I know what lab this is now. I don't know why I hear shit breaking. I got a dead loner here. Okay, elevator here and a staircase. Looks like we're taking the stairs. Not exactly a... <laughs> I'm not exactly a fan of this lab. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop a morphine ampule because I just don't want to risk it, man. I'm gonna try to do this without any major disasters. We need food as well. Can I just eat some chili beans? Maybe this will hold me over. Okay, delicious freaking beans, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm hearing a lot of stuff. We might use the night vision. Honestly, no, it's a little bit too bright. Yeah, I think we'll just roll flashlight. Where do I go? I think I need to go downstairs. Oh man, I'm hearing so much creepy shit. I don't like this. Oh God. No, no. Oh. Okay, a couple of snarks. We're okay, we're okay. Let's loot this guy. Uh, one, two, four, three. Okay, we got the code, and he has some loot on him. Decent loot. Uh, access to the next level, we need door code one, two, four, three. Okay, got that. This lab, you actually have to find bodies of dead scientists, get some access codes off of them, and, uh, that allows you to... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I'm walking into something. That allows you to move deeper into the lab, which, uh, I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you just, you just have to for the, for the for the documents, I guess. Is there anything in here? Doesn't look like it. All right, let's go in. Uh, one, two, four, three. Okay. Oh, we got poltergeists. Okay, let's walk real slow. Hopefully they don't aggro on me. They shouldn't. I think I'm moving slow enough. Oh man, the poltergeists in this place are so, there's just so many of them. I think we'll be okay with the shotgun though. I don't, don't imagine it can't handle it. There we go. All right. Let's just keep moving slow. No mutants hiding under here, I hope. Okay, we're good. Oh boy. Oh, the sounds. <laughs> it's so creepy. There's one right there. Luckily they can't actually see me. We got that one. There's another one. 
Come on, run. Oh my god. Heal. Oh god. Oh my god. That went bad real quick. I can't see. Hold on. I don't know what's going on, but I'm just gonna stand still for a minute. My leg is so messed up. Okay, I think they lost me. Let's reload. Oh my god. Do they hear me? Like... Don't like the yellow screen? The, the vision? Oh, Jesus! It's one of those. Okay. Get owned? Oh, man. There he is. Alright, we got that one. And we just got hungry. Can I move normally? Seems I'm not aggroed on. Let's just keep moving here. Oh my god, dude. The noises. The noises! There's just a bunch of anomalies in here and explosives. And murder of crows! <laughs> I guess there's an admission. Oh, man. Ah. Oh, okay. I just ran into, like, two of those. If I'm not mistaken, I just heard the footsteps of a pseudo-giant. Jeez, bro, these sounds. Yeah, there's definitely a pseudo-giant. Definitely a pseudo-giant. Oh, <laughs> all right, let's head in. Dude, there's explosives everywhere. I don't like that. Hello? Hello. There's a pseudo giant right there, dude. <laughs> let's get some nades in there. Enjoy. I don't even think that hurt him. Oh god. Oh yeah, my nade just got thrown back at me. That's sick, man. I don't even think those are landing near him. Maybe. Come on, where are you? Oh jeez. Okay, my leg is hurt. Dude, come on. Oh, he's right there! dude is so mobile. Oh, I need bandage. Come on, give me a shot on him. <sighs> Die! Oh, jeez. Yes, okay, <laughs> he's dead. Holy shit. Alright, got him. Well, that's over with. That's good. I'm, I'm glad that's over with. Um, I don't know if there's any actual, like, loot laying around here. But, there's a bandage and a battery pack, okay. Personal journal, it says. Yeah, personal journal. Let's take that. Oh, it's literally just one of these. It's junk. Okay. Well, never mind. Here's the next dead scientist. What do you got? Uh, 9524 is the next code, and he's got some guns and parts and things, we'll just take all of that. 9524, okay. Let's head back, get that next door open. We actually handled the mutants down here pretty well. Surprisingly. Alright. Nine. That's so not cool, man. I don't know why they always do this. 9524. Wait, what? 9524. Wait. Did I. Hold on. Did I read it wrong? Code to the laboratory room is 9524. Okay. 9524. Enter. Interesting. I believe it might be bugged. I'm gonna have to reload save. Okay. We're back. Let's try this again. 9524. There it goes. Open sesame. What do we got? Um, we have a room. Do I have anything? Uh, let's have a cold brew. This might help with me being tired. There we go. I love a good cold brew. I don't know about y'all. 
<laughs> Here we are, we made it to the central laboratory. Seems they have been doing some interesting experiments. I'm glad these never made it into the pool of mutant spawns because I don't know what the hell they are, but they look terrifying. All right, we got biology research report and that's all, okay. I guess let's grab it. Okay. <laughs> I was expecting something to happen there, but nothing happened. Um, search for hard evidence of a conspiracy. Was that not... Was that not it? This is it, right? Okay, yeah, this is some hard evidence, isn't it? Is that not what I needed? Is there more documents in here? Oh, there's a room up here. Hang on. Oh, my. Look at all this. Ammo, Yaddle, and Hercules. Another Hercules. Antidote. More Yaddle and bandages. Dude. Tons of loot. Tons of meds, too. Okay, well, my objective still hasn't been updated, which is a bit strange. Well, there's a pile of loot over here. Some vodka that I can maybe grab. Okay, ouch. That hurt. Well, I definitely got the document, so I guess I'm just going to get out of here. I'm not sure why it hasn't updated anything for me. This guy didn't have anything else on him. We did what we came here to do, but my mission has not updated, so let's just leave and see what happens. There it is. Now it says mission complete. Okay. Oh my god. What the hell was that? Um, that was a lot of explosions. That was very bizarre. I guess we're fine? Was it- I don't know what just exploded. Was that supposed to be the lab? Blowing up or something? Also, it is strangely dark. I'm not sure what's going on right now. It is literally the middle of the day. One thing at a time, I guess. Let's take a look at our PDA. X18 is done. It's gone. We completed it. That is good. We just have X19 and we have X8. The PDA is making weird sounds. Well, I guess we can just head back to base. Um, I'm not sure if the lighting is bugged or if it is just a weird weather situation we got going on. It's very foggy. Um, so yeah, we're going to head back to base. I really don't know what that explosion was, man. That was... That was super weird. Um, okay. Anyway, I, I would like to leave this place now. I'll see you all at base. All right, if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> I think my game is breaking right now, guys. Um, I'm back at base, but as you can see, everything is still very, very dark, and th that just looks wrong to me. I don't, I don't understand. Well, I need to get some of this stuff stored. That way we can get ready for the next adventure, which uh, I guess we could be tackling another lab next episode we'll see i do want to thank you all very very much for making it this far into the video check out the patreon if you uh if you're interested in helping support me and support this channel plenty of options on there any amount of support you guys give is so very greatly appreciated um and if you haven't yet join the discord it's starting to look pretty sick now we're getting a lot of stuff added into it I think that's all I have for you guys, so thank you again, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace out.